Oh. Wow, long week. Weather's beautiful here in Vancouver Island. I think it's gonna be about 20 degrees today. Pretty good for mid-April. Got my Husqvarna hockey shirt on. <clears throat> Husqvarna Blue Bulls. That's the sponsored team that Husqvarna has and uh, Jan Scherping, this is uh, the town right beside Husqvarna. There's two towns in H in Sweden, one Husqvarna, one Jan Scherping. They're, they're, they're basically the same town. There's a little creek that goes between them. Um, Husqvarna in, in, in Sweden is spelt with a K, H-U-S-K-V-A-R-N-A. -A. I was told they have it like that and the company with a Q because they don't get the uh, mail mixed up. <laughs> Whatever, eh? Beautiful place over there. If you ever get a chance, go to Sweden. Beautiful country, man. It'll be the next place I'd want to live besides our beautiful home here on Vancouver Island, which is paradise island, eh? So, yeah, I had a busy week. Walker saw a shop here. I'm sitting across the street from the shop in my truck, just waiting for my brother to get here. I'm going to have a yak with them and grab our, uh, our lawn tractor trailer, car hauler trailer, basically, thing. And we're going to haul three carts on it today. My buddy Steve's come with me, a fellow I grew up with. He uh, owns an alternator starter business. Great mechanic, one of the best around in town. His daughter Stephanie, I believe she's, I think she's 17, 18. She's been racing cars, a little, um, like little Honda Civic type ones, Hornets they call them. She's been racing for a couple years now, a few, re few years, I think, three years. And she was a champion at Saratoga Speedway where, Speedway, where I told you before I had track record there with my old McCullough. So she's got some experience in cars. We got her into a cart last year. She bought my brother's cart up. Yeah, I didn't probably didn't tell you. My brother had an accident at work two years ago. Our plan was for us to go racing, me, him, and Deb, his wife. We bought, I got three carts ready and then... Um, Poor Johnny, uh, we were working at the shop one day and he was up on some scaffolding and it fell over as he came down. Kind of his own fault, but just things happen, man. So quick, too. So he broke his back, poor guy. So he's recovered from it, but he can't go kart racing now. It's too hard on him. And it's, there's no suspension in a go kart. So he doesn't want to wreck himself again. So we sold that cart of Johnny's to, to Steve for his daughter, Stephanie. So she's got that. I got mine that you've seen before. And Steve's going to use my other one that uh, is, is Deb's actually. But um, Johnny wants to sell it now too. So just try to keep it just so I can have one so a friend can come with me. It's no fun by yourself. So yeah, we're going to go down to Cowichan to the Vancouver Island Motorsport Track today. Beautiful facility. And you'll see it on my, uh, I just got my GoPro um, camera charging up. Uh, hopefully I can link the GoPro with the videos today. I gotta try to learn that. So I'm I'm getting there, man. So be patient with me. I'll uh, see what I can do. Been a long week. Um, weather's been great. So a lot of equipment coming in. Weed eaters, lawnmowers, tractors, blowers. You name name it. Hedge trimmers. Everyone's doing the yard work now, which is good. Business was uh, great last year. It'll be good again this year. Saw business, wow. You guys rock sending me stuff or ordering stuff. Um, thanks very much for all the orders. Um, I did, I walkerized, I don't know how many last week. Uh, two yesterday, a 550 Mark II. God, I like those saws. What a ripping little saw that is. You're gonna buy a mid-range saw 50cc, that's a ticket. Um, 550 Mark II, they got it figured out. Those. Swedes with that uh, auto tune on that one now, and it's it's a little heavier than the MS two sixty one. If you want to compare it to that, that's its competition. <clears throat> um, but man, the weight power to weight ratio is is, is incredible. I've changed a lot of them over to three eighths um, chain instead of the three two five pitch, and they'll handle it. I got a buddy running twenty inch on it no problem um one buddy's running 24 inch ones on his but he's running the low pro 38s what they used to call 91 vs in 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 oregon chain um 63 ps they call it in, in steel chain which is a better chain it's a chisel chain in the low pro 38s he uses it for chunking down big wood man he's um 
incredible climber, my friend HUD, branching out tree service. He's uh, one of the best on the island. He's got a crew. They go around and do a lot of the big uh, danger trees and parks and big removals. And so he uses it for topping down um, trees, like big cedars. Like I'm talking at the base, they're probably, you know, five, six feet. Where you top it on, they're probably a couple feet. So he hauls it up there as his topping saw. He runs, uh, like I say, 24 inch with the low pro 3 8 I built him a custom set of four wrap paddle bars for it and some uh, bigger dogs. So yeah, Johnny's arriving now in the Walker Saw Shop truck. So we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna um, go load up, pick up Steve and his daughter, then I'm uh, gonna head there to the um, to the old shop, pick up the carts, and then uh, I'll pick up Steve and Stephanie. Yeah, yeah. Then hit the road, and then when I get back. I'm gonna uh, go up to the old racetrack, and I'll give you a video of that later on the old abandoned Cassie Speedway. And see my dad and Shelly's gonna show up. Taylor, my daughter, will be there hanging out with my dad today just to help him out. My quad's up there, so I'll do a little quad ride and show you a little our property up there. It's beautiful. And you'll say, Wow, man, no doubt you go up there for some peace and relaxation and uh, to hang out. So, yeah, <clears throat> I'll get going then. Early bird gets the worm. Okay, we'll catch you later.